hello everyone welcome to the crochet times today i'm going to teach you how you can make this checkered crochet pattern it is very easy and it just uses single crochet stitches uh, you do have to carry two yarns the color both of the colors that you are using in the same um, stitch and in the same row i will show you how you can do that in a minute you have to carry both yarns so that is why you can see the blue one in the uh, brown place and in the blue square you can see this but it's all right it looks very pretty and you can like it's it's very pretty and you have to make it so let's get started for this tutorial i'm using a white yarn a black yarn and a nine millimeter hook you can see it here it's barely visible but it's nine millimeter i'm also using a darning needle a cutter and arm inches tape before we get started with the pattern i just wanted to show you that this pattern is worked in the multiple of fours that each square is made up of four stitches uh, it uh, it has four stitches in the row and five stitches in like this form in the height so it makes a perfect square like this and uh, if, uh, how many stitches you need in the base stitch depends on how long you want it to be this is around 16 inches and it has nine squares and with the nine millimeter hook so for the for for this tutorial i'm going to use 44 stitches because i want it to be around 18 inches it is a very stretchy pattern so don't worry when it just feels like that it is not that long because when you use it it gets very stretchy and then it will cover your inches so let's get started with the pattern you are going to need stitches in multiple of four and then plus one so to get started i'm going to make a slip knot to make a slip knot you have to carry the take the loose end of the yarn and wrap it around your fingers like this and then hold it in the back with the hook with the help of your hook insert it in under the first loop and then pull up the loop from the second now you have a slip stitch this is called a simple slip stitch now i'm going to need around 44 plus one chains so let's get started to make a chain you just insert your hook and then wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through like this now make it again like this so this is a simple chain stitch now we are going to make 44 of these now this one two three four 40 41 42 43 44 and now this is the 45 stitches this is my chain now i'm going to insert my hook in the in the second chain from the hook like this is first this is second i'm going to ignore this one and insert my hook in this one so let's do that and now we are going to make a single crochet insert your hook wrap your chain uh, wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through now you have two loops on your hook now we are going to wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through and this is your first chain your first single crochet now we are going to make three more two and three wrap your yarn pull it through yarn and pull it through now for the first stitch bring out your second color of the yarn keep it handy now insert your hook in the first uh, in this four stitch pull it a loop now we were going to wrap our yarn around it and pull it through right but we are not going to do that for this one instead we are going to pick up the second color hold uh, leave a little bit of tail around uh, in the back and then you are going to pull a loop from this new color okay so what does this does is you have changed your color in the yarn in the in the pattern and now you can make four more stitches with the white stitch with the white yarn like so insert your hook pull up the loop of the white now keep these two tails like the black yarn and the tail of white yarn in the like holding against with the chains and 
um, make new stitches over it like you can see it like it's in the back of this new yarn and i'm going to take the yarn from over it like it's hidden now in the back so pull up the loop and now you have a white stitch now we are going to do that again insert your hook keep these two uh, aligned with the chain now pull up a loop of the white stitch now wrap your yarn again and make a single crochet with the white stitch see now we are going to do that again now on the fourth stitch you are not going to do that uh, completely but like we did in the start where you switch the color with the white we are going to do that again now we are going to use the black yarn and pull up the loop while we are working with this uh, black you are going to hold the white chain, uh, white color with the yarn uh, with the chain and crochet it in the pattern now on the fourth one we switch color how do we switch color we just take the yarn of the needle like you insert your hook and pull up the loop but do not pull up the loop with the same color while you are switching and use the new color to switch the yarn this way your pattern will be like this like it will be very neat but if you switch it afterward then this will loop will become uh, white or black if it's the opposite pattern now we are going to make white stitches. Now let me meet you back at the start of the like completing this row and I will meet you back right right back here. So I wanted to bring you back to the last stitch. Here you don't have to carry the yarn unless you are changing the color in the last uh, square. That will not happen in the till row number five. I will show you how you can do that. So you don't have to carry this black yarn, uh, this white yarn with you in the last section. So you can just leave it back in the uh, hanging in the back like this, and just crochet the last four stitches with single crochet. is the last stitch and like how you work with the normal yarn you are just going to make one more stitch and then turn the yarn around like this now you can see how the pattern is working out now we are going to start making single crochet in the row number two let me show you how you can bring up the white yarn in the next stitch so the way we were switching yarns before you are going to make uh, two uh, two loops on your hook and then you are going to bring it from the front and just make a stitch with it and it's not visible when you are making the pattern so now we are going to carry the black yarn in the back and work the white yarn the two stitches three and on fourth we switch like this always carry your other yarn in the back and this way you will not be tying every end up. and on the fourth we switch like this Let me complete this row and I will bring you back. So just like in the last row, we are not going to carry the white yarn in the last section in this row. So you are going to switch and leave the white one hanging in the back. This is my last stitch and I'm going to chain one and just turn it around like this. So now we are going to make this again.
and this is how you bring up the yarn so let's make two more rows like this is first second now we're making third fourth and on the fifth in the last stitches of the fifth uh, row i will bring you back and i will show you how you can carry two yarns together and switch it in the next section so here i'm on the my fifth row we are not going to count the chain stitch as a row so this is first second third fourth and fifth so for the fifth row you are going to change the colors in the in this last section so you are going to carry this yarn here now we are going to make four stitches four single crochet and on the last stitch we are going to change color like we did before like this and then we are going to turn our yarn turn our like this and keep this black yarn or the second color in the back like this and now we are going to crochet over this black yarn while first we are going to make a chain stitch in the end like we do and now we are going to make four stitches but keeping this black yarn in the back like this so one two three and on four stitch we change the yarn like this now you are going to see the checkered pattern will can will starting to appear now we change the yarn Now when you put it down you will see how the black and white pattern is going to alternate and our checkered pattern will start to appear like this. You can make as many rows as your end product requires and then you can either use it as a mat or you can use it as a sweater, muffler or cushion covers or anything. So this is how you make checkered crochet pattern thank you for watching see you soon don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you